I just won the grand prize. Six thousand dollar value. I, I thought this was a print. Your no, art is so beautiful in person. Original. Holy crap! How amazing! Well, thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Uh, congratulations, man. <laughs> Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. It's day three of Comic Con. Oh, my voice is a little hoarse. I am exhausted. It's been a really awesome but exhausting two days, day three. Uh, it's raining like crazy. I didn't think I was going to make it today, but uh, I decided I had to do it. I love Comic Con. I got splashed though on the way here, so I'm soaking wet at the moment. Ah, uh, it sucks. Okay, I, I have a work of art I got picked up from Dan Parent, and two comic books are on my mind that I saw yesterday. I'm going to go try to get those first. Oh man, we got a super cool Sonic the Hedgehog. Absolutely love it. So dope. Oh my gosh, I think it's more crowded today than it was yesterday. And yesterday felt crowded. And I got here late too, it's two o'clock. I thought the rain would scare people away, but it is, uh, it's full of people having a lot of fun. All right, we're at Hot Flips. Hey boy. Wolverine is Canadian, you know, like a, 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 a Colossus is Russian. We're back in the 70s, you know, like, you know, the Berlin Wall was still up. You know, we were still fighting Cold War. Russia, you can't have a Russian team. We hate those guys. Like, like, okay, I wanted the, I think it was Military 1750 at Hop Lips. It's gone, so they sold it. That makes my life easier because it means we're not spending the cash. <laughs> oh, you know, I wanted to kind of heavily negotiate on it too because they had it at 250 i kind of wanted to get at 200 so uh they might not have gone that low so if it's sold it's not the end of the world okay let's go to the next location man it's really crowded today Right, I'm back at Vintage Comics and Toys, the one comic I was thinking about. 160? Oh, yeah. No brainer. <laughs> He's giving me the friend deal. Yeah. Okay, hold up for one second. Yeah. This is super amazing. I asked him how much he wanted. He had 225. I thought maybe he would say 200, and I might have pulled that 200. He said 160. No brainer. Grabbed it. Amazing. I'm going to weave through the crowd and try to get to Artist Alley so I can pick up a work of art from Dan Parent. All right, I had the brave of the crowds. But I am going to pick up my artwork over here. Not wait to get it. Oh, yes. yes, I'm here for Katie Keen. Oh my gosh. It is so lovely. I love that you gave her a little bit of a side eye so she's a little flirty. Yeah. I love it. Okay, let me get you paid for that. All right, that's super awesome. I can't believe I got that. I'm going over to Hot Flips now. I need to get a protective sleeve for it. I'm going to get a protector from Hot Flips. Sweet! I got it in a top loader. Oh man, it was $100 for the art and $6 for the protector. So $106 bucks for a beautiful one-of-a-kind piece. All right, I'm not even sure where I want to explore today because it's so freaking crowded. CZC switched out their books. I really want a high-grade poison ivy, probably like an 8 -0 just because the red gets really, really worn and you see it in the fives and sixes. Oh, and a 9.8 to a Dracula one, that's amazing. Wow, that cover's beautiful. Captain Future, The Walking Dead. Oh, that's cool. I think that's the first time I've seen a pulp slab. That's kind of neat. Considering how brittle pulps are and the fact that I would only collect them for the cover, I kind of like the idea of a slab pulp. That's kind of neat. Zucker. Look at that, a graded nightmare on Elm Street 2. I think I just sold one of those. Not graded. Suicide Squad. Alex Ross Batman, whoa, that's cool. I don't think I've seen that cover before. Gorgeous. Yeah, hard VHS is what's hot right now. Last Bronin. I think Michael Carbonaro is supposed to be here again. And he said he'd bring some of those you know, golden age romance humor books. I'm really hoping he brought some because that's kind of what I'm interested in buying today. 
My friend Sean is not here today, but if he was, this is probably where I would find him. The Comic Connect case. He has some original artwork. Lots of beautiful Braille books. I really want to get uh, Tales of Astonish 13. Probably can't afford a 13, but maybe get like a 4 or 5. More beautiful books. Absolutely love this stuff. Gorgeous books underneath. More gorgeous artwork. Some more grails. Enjoying season 2 so far, Loki. Oh, some graded video games. Interesting. And some more grails. I do collect a lot of video games. I just haven't really gotten into graded ones, but it's kind of an interesting concept. All right, let's see what's on this side. Man, I really, really want Giant Size 1. I might try to buy a 7.0 maybe later this year. More beautiful books. Oh, they got a bunch of cool ones on there. You can't really see them so much. Love the Matt Baker book. Archie 1, I would love to buy that. Atomic War is cool. RG3. I think I looked at these the other day, but these are cool. Beautiful books. Alright, I'm gonna look through this stack right here. These two. Definitely. The problem is I have this arrow, I have yep, yep, everything. Yep, yep, I have it all. Yeah, yeah. Me? Yeah. That's what that's a good one, Jordan. You want to miss. I know him. You met him before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. At the Garden State, the freezing show. Did you guys yeah, ever yeah, yeah, yeah. the freezing show, the, the show freeze. where we froze. This is surreal art, 19 They're good, they're good. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. You know, because it's like there's so many people moving around and you can't see them. This is danger, 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 if you buy me a sandwich, yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah, because <laughs> no, it's, it's good, but this is like seven, five bucks or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, just, I have that already. No, they have I'm mostly looking for... Another one, you know, it's... No, we got a little bit twice. It's tight, and I just, you know, I'm like, I heard something, I said, it's sold. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Funny how that worked out. Is that something? Yeah, that was an expensive mistake. That, they're going to make a gorilla, and there's two, right? The 28 and 30. Is that 28 and 30. I, like. I don't know what I need on my Daredevil lot. I like that. Gene Cole is so underrated. I, those books are so undervalued. All the time. I just, I think I have most of them. What number is this? Uh, I think I have it, but the cover is so white compared to how you normally see it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I like. If I just made these like 50 bucks a piece, just throw that in, it's 500 bucks for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, that's a super. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me look through here as well. Yep. yep. 500 is that. Oh, these are. Um, these, um, oh, you're buying the whole thing? No, this, no, 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 no. Let him look through. No, he's... You can look. I just choose a small small thing. Yeah. Look through everything. Okay. You get a bonus book with that. You get a, a, a oh, okay. Cool. That's so it. that's the one that, that was what you needed? Yeah. Okay. 
yeah. look whatever you want to uh, make up. Let me look at it. No, this is, let me look at it. Okay. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Is this okay? You finding good separate. stuff? All kinds of good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right. finding amazing stuff. This is the spot you want to be. For this pile. Oh, good. You know, I kind of like these postcode yeah, ECs because they're so cheap. They're so cheap, but still the same quality art and stuff. But people don't want it because there's not beheadings and <laughs> crazy shit in it. Well, that was the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. These are, what are these? These are the $20? Yeah, $20, $5 yeah. or whatever. Okay. Let's see if I can. We made a small deal for this pile for like five hundred. Yeah. Okay. I really just one day I gotta get a lot of cash and just come over to your place and no, dig. You're going to. You're going to yeah, I mean I was there last year, but I was sick. No, 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 I'm getting ready to sell it. Um, give me about two weeks, right after Halloween or yes, sir. How many you got there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take an extra one for the twenty. You got it. One more. <laughs> What's his name again? You keep yeah. doing your business. Oh, that's a great cover. Right? I like that one. Thing, yeah, that one's gorgeous. The last fight, yeah, the last fight until the next one. The last fight until the next one. Yeah, this was stuff I wanted to grade. Make him buy a deal. Huh? I'm gonna make him a deal. You told me to sell it. No, unless you want to sell it, then you can buy it. It's done. Okay. How much is that gonna be? I don't know. I deal with Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I know it, I deal with Mike. <laughs> I buy from Mike. I like buying from Mike because he has old stuff. So wait, that what number is piracy in? Was it six? No, so, it was it, something like that. It was a very short series. I have a psychoanalysis. One of the trends I've been trying to read it. I bring it on the plane with me. And I still can't read I, the I, damn. Book. I hate reading those fucking things. Yes. Because yes. it's they they describe every panel. There's a guy standing at the con holding a stack of con and like they'll they'll describe the whole fucking thing and then it'll be like a drawing under them. But the land of the tots and the early fable ones are okay. Yeah. See, that's got the poster thing. No, this can be so I bought this Michael. Cars I bought this book. Finally, I got uh, one. Oh, okay. sweet. Three? Three? Three would have been a steal. I would. I would. How much I paid? Oh, I paid. Ghost Rider I paid money. Yes. Is that yours? Or yep, no, yes. he'll sell it to you. You might want this. His checks are good. You tell me. You might want that. I just bought You might want that. Uh, D40, so 540? Yeah, yeah. All right, that was fantastic. I uh, I knew Michael would have really good stuff, and he gave me a fantastic deal. A whole bunch of uh, pre-hero Marvel stuff, some early Ant-Man stuff, like $50 a book. Really great price. All right, let's go see what else I can find. Lots of beautiful Nathan Zerdy books. <laughs> I said that about this show and I still forgot it. Yeah. I'm mad at myself. Are they all better? Alright, I'm going to uh, buy these three Nathan Zerdy covers so I can get them to sign them. Awesome. Would you all like right. a bag? Uh, yes, please. Fantastic. Amazing. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, I did it. I bought three. Let it drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I s squeeze these guys over here? Awesome.
Of course, yeah, 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 especially with the foil. Yeah, and if any fingerprints show up, you can always like use a microfiber. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Although if it's your fingerprints, I'm okay leaving that on there. DNA. Yeah, well, just I can verify this. I'm like, no, that's his fingerprint. <laughs> Scan that, you'll know it's him. I, I I love your signature. I think it adds so much to the book. Don't, don't scan it. You'll see where I'm wanting. So cool, you put a little symbol that matches the con I like that. That is so freaking cool. All right, thank you, I appreciate that. You can hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can totally hang out, you don't have to go. All right, I'll move on if someone else comes up yeah, that yeah, you need yeah. the help with. No, you're fine, man. You can kind of still see the gloss when it's still wet. That one is... And the foils, they actually dry a little bit quicker sometimes, too. It depends on, like, the foil. watching paint dry <laughs> yeah. all right i got the three uh new york comic con exclusive nathan zerdy foil covers signed by him amazing got the white widow books super fun Oh, sure. You okay, I can spin. All right. Cool. I hope there's no posters, right? If I hit the poster, can I respin? Because <laughs> I can't carry it. <laughs> you don't like posters? What's that? Oh, they're folded up. Oh, 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 okay. I, I love posters, but at the same time, when you get those big rolls, by the time you get them home, they're just in pieces. <laughs> okay. Let's get a comic. Let's get that comic book. Comics. Comics, 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 training card. Uh, training card, okay, that's cool. You guys have awesome training cards. Thank you. Sweet. I love it, thank you so much. All right, that was super awesome. One of my favorite things about New York Comic Con is I bump into so many people who watch my channel, so it's really fun that they appreciate what I do, but I also bump into a lot of friends, and uh, I just love it, I love the community. I love this artist's work. It's so freaking cute. Has a little pin, stickers. Oh, patches are kind of cute. Prints, stickers, lanyards. Joshua, I'm going to get some. I have a little original work. Unfortunately, 70 size, bucks. Like I think I have to get that. All right, I got Victoria to sign a business card for me. I'm putting together a kind of a collection of signed business cards this year. Oh, these are kind of neat. Especially this Astro Boy. I really love that. I like the Totoro and the Inuyasha. Oh, and the One Piece print is really cool. Cute booth full of beautiful artwork. All right, I'm at my friend Brian's booth. I want to show you guys some of the new cards for New York Comic Con. Is this an actual printed card? Uh, that I did, yeah. It's a exclusive for the New York Comic Con. That's really cool. I like that you have the little uh, case on it. Yeah. And then you did metal. Yeah, metal card. Oh, and you signed down the back. Yeah. Sign a number. Yeah, yeah. Those are like limited to 50 and those are limited to 100. Those are really cool. Thanks. And then I got some stickers and uh, it's all 
original sketch. Have you had stickers before? Is that kind of a new thing you're trying I, out? I mean, I had a couple last year, but I, I just did a bunch for this show. I think those are good because there's a little bit more of an impulse buy. All original art cards. Those are exclusive for the show. So these are all ones that you worked on the last like two, three months? This is a really cute statue. I would love to have a warehouse where I just had her hanging out in the corner. All right, I was just walking through the toy area and the crowds are thinning out a little bit. I think, I think it's getting a little bit easier to walk around. All right, they have a 75 First Enchantress for 100. I think I need to grab that. It seems like a really good price. First Black Orchid, did I not see these yesterday? I must have not looked. Let's look through this one box. cool is that? That was on my want list. Strange Adventures 187, a 7.5 for 90 bucks. That felt like a great price. Really happy with that. Next week in Long Island. There's all the information. Check it out. We have lots of awesome stuff there. So I've been to the Hot Flips booth three or four times this con and I missed that issue. So that's some more advice I give you. It's okay to go back to what you've already looked at because especially if it's a spot that you know you've found great stuff in the past there's a good chance you'll find something that you missed that you really want all right this is cool i got a really awesome walter simonson print for my friend kyle he asked me to pick it up for him and uh, he's always helping me out on my comic journey so yeah definitely pick him up at one of his wants from new york comic con it's about five o'clock today and you know honestly the Crowds are thinned a lot. This is actually quite better right now. Earlier today it was nuts, but I think I can actually walk around now. Let's see if there's any more artists I want to find. Oh, this is spot foil. Yeah. Oh, that makes it even nicer. Oh, I agree. It's my favorite. Because this, because it, it blends a little bit. With this, you get all your beautiful artwork, and then it's accentuated with all the foil around it. Both, but I feel like that's next level. Yeah, this is that is amazing. I if absolutely you look love that. Even the outline is foil, which is great because you do that often with the outline yeah, coloring. Absolutely. So it's just like it's your style and foil. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's fantastic. I love it. I mean, I, I love all of them, <laughs> but that is really jumping at me. I think I've gotten something from you every con in the last like seven years. I really appreciate it. Thank well, I appreciate that you keep coming back, and the bigger you get, you're still here. I appreciate that. Is there a better show than New York Comic Con? I'm not aware of one. I mean, it's my local show, so... Ah, well, you're lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I'm from Hawaii. Okay. It takes me 14 hours to get here. David Nakayama spends 14 hours so that he could come here and allow a New Yorkers to come and hang out with them and get stuff ordered. How amazing is that? Well, it's an honor. I feel like it's the best show in the world, and I don't miss it. It's the one I cannot miss. Uh, you've been here every single one except for the year they didn't have one. I remember the last yeah. like eight years or so. I, I remember being eager to come back and you remember the year where there wasn't anybody upstairs and it was kind of quiet. Last year you were in the unknown booth. Your memory's very really good. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Do you care about the color roll? Uh, no, just I'll let you use your artistic choice of what you think works best. I do not at all. Okay. Like I'm in good, no rush. Like a good time investment. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously. How 
Oh, and that car, that just jumps out. Yeah. We had some accidents on the first day, but I've learned that it takes exactly two and a half, three minutes to... For it to dry, yeah. Especially on the foil, I think there's a, something about not absorbing the ink, so it takes longer for it to evaporate. That's right. You can, yeah, yeah, wipe it off cleanly. I've been there. I love that one so much. Thank you. This is actually one of my all-time favorite ones. When did it come out? Like five years ago? Oh, Four years see. ago? Back in the end of 2020. So three years yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely love that one. So seeing it in foil, it's just like an upgrade. Exactly. Yeah, we're kind of doing the greatest hits. Right exactly. Now. Did I just sell another one to you talking about it? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I usually don't buy the comic foils. You know what I like about it, though, is it's spot foil. So yes, the actual image is all original, and then the foil highlights it. Yeah, totally. It's amazing. I absolutely love that cover, too. That one's gorgeous. The, uh, this technique, I was watching how Russell Dowderman did it, but it just so, looks so cool. Yeah. So it's, it's beautiful. It looks, it looks like the actual metal sparkly here, but in digital art, right? It is fantastic. All right, thank you. All right, I just got five signed David Nakayama books. I don't think a New York Comic Con can go by without me getting something new from David Nakayama. Absolutely love these. I got beautiful Arthur Adams artwork. But faster. No, slower. Now faster. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so nice. I got a cover. What do you get? A new roof of your, your oh, own. Yeah. Greetings, Pop Comics. Uh, read more comics. If you don't know who this is, you gotta figure it out because uh, this guy's amazing. <laughs> Chris Claremont. Maybe 10%. Taller. I'm taller. Okay. <laughs> hey, Arthur Adams, I love your work. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, I got a couple of our Adams sign books and his art book. All right, I'm at uh, the Bad Idea booth. I'm getting Spaceman with the official sticker. Make sure down. you look for that sticker, otherwise it's fake. And uh, he's going to sign it for me. Yes, now, my first time signing one of these, so I've got to figure out where to sign it. Okay, hold on. No, that's a bad idea, not right now. <laughs> do that to me. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate you, you. Look at that. How cool is that? All right, it's the last hour of the show Saturday, and the floor is actually thinned out a lot. It's actually really enjoyable right now. Now, I don't know if all the cool stuff is sold out or not, but I feel like this would be a great time just to wander around and explore and see what you can find. Just because of, of the space, this floor space, I can actually walk. It's actually quite amazing right now. All right, I'm out of energy, so I think my day's over. I'm going to go to the Bad Idea panel at 8.45. So I'm going to go sit down for an hour or so, or two hours, and just recoup my energy. But I had so much fun today. I got a lot of awesome stuff. All right, I decided to wait for the Bad Idea panel. Really excited for this. How many W's can we do tonight for Bad Idea? Queer four. Queer four. <laughs> <laughs> who, who in here has never heard of Bad Idea? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Am I the only professional here? <sighs> This book is called Banana Number One, Number One. Uh, so, <laughs> it was about, it was about, about a six foot tall sentient banana uh, with a number one on his head. Come sec is uh, the great Mike Carey. You guys, any Vertigo fans here will know Mike Carey. He uh, left comics for Green Pastures. But those of you don't want to be here. Uh, the Louvre. Uh, a story about a uh, ex exhibit of horrifying paintings, scary paintings. In his life, like a video game, he can return to that point and live his life from that point forward, changing decisions he made. It's a humorous tale of scientists attempting to solve the problem of world hunger by creating giant crops, which... We did a book called First Seven Days that you guys seem to really like. It was about uh, the uh, entire public population of the world gaining sentience. Uh, it was a meditation on uh, what is life. Destroyer is about a physicist who, uh, in the aftermath of a 
terrible lab, lab accident, finds that there's a power growing inside of him that has become conscious. <laughs> uh, Rob Vindy, who uh, uh, wrote <laughs> Civil War, Countess Launch Valiant, who wrote Green Lantern, Hawkman, Superman 78, 78. Tank, this is the story of a group of mech uh, student uh, warriors, uh, soldiers, that kill dinosaurs. Uh, and this is the first time anyone's seen his pages. Yeah. We're very excited, so you'll get to see uh, some of Tomas' new style. 